What's going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exporn, your number one stop for all things theme park related. Today we have some big news yet again. I feel like all these videos I'm saying that and the first couple sentences of them we have some big news. And it's some breaking news as of yesterday Universal Orlando Resort has announced that CityWalk Orlando, what they call the epicenter of awesome, is officially opening tomorrow, Thursday, May 14th with limited operations as a part of its slow, gradual opening for the full resort including the theme parks and hotels. And there's quite a bit of details and stuff that you should know if you're planning to go out to City Walk Orlando that we're going to break down in this video. But first, make sure that you're subscribed with those bell notifications on to check out all things theme park related on a weekly basis as well as an update like you guys are watching right now from all the different theme parks, at least in California and Florida. Follow us on social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. Check out our website, SoCalExploring.com. You can donate $3 to our Buy Me a Coffee page today. Link down in the description or visit buymeacoff.ee slash SoCal Exploring. As well as we have merchandise that you can visit on our merchandise website. Click the link down in the description. That's right. CityWalk Orlando is officially opening tomorrow. And with the announcement that Disney Springs will be opening on May 20th over at Walt Disney World, this is big news because we see Florida slowly start to reopen these different theme park resorts and these different attractions, which is absolutely amazing. It's definitely a step in the right direction, especially for my California audience who all want to get out to Disneyland and Universal Studios Hollywood. We are in a little bit more trickier situation here in California, but with Florida opening up their different attractions and theme parks, then it is a good sign for us. It's something that we can take away and learn from them, and it shows the governor of California, hey, if Florida can do it, then so can we, right? But that's for a completely different video. Anyways, back to City Walk Orlando. It will be open with limited operations between 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Now, what exactly does limited operations mean? Well, limited operations essentially means limited venues that will be open and limited things that you can do there. And actually, for the limited amount that CityWalk Orlando is allowing, it's quite a bit. Full service restaurants and quick service food locations include Auntie Anne's Pretzels, Bubba Gump Shrimp Company Restaurant and Market, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, Red Oven Pizza Bakery, and Voodoo Donut. They have a couple of great dining options that are still available at CityWalk Orlando that you can go and check out and eat and have a good time at. But believe it or not, there are some shopping venues open as well as an entertainment venue. Now, I'm not talking about the theme parks, but to me, this is just as good. Shopping venues include Airbrush Stations, Heart and Huntington Tattoo Company, the Universal Studios Store, and the Hollywood Drive-In Golf. That's right, to my surprise, the Hollywood Drive-In Golf is actually going to be open. So for those of you who are bored, staying at home, doing nothing, being stuck in the self-quarantine thing, then you guys can actually head out to City Walk Orlando and have fun at Hollywood Drive-In Golf. I've never been there to experience it, but I've seen many videos on it, and it looks like an absolute blast. So I'm sure that'd be a fun thing to do right now since there's nothing else open to go out and have some fun time with the family or some friends playing some mini golf but at the same time practicing social distancing which we'll get into a little bit later on in the video. The Universal Studios store will also have select merchandise cards scattered throughout City Walk, you know that where you can buy a mask out or maybe even a water bottle, those small little cards that you'd see scattered throughout the theme park as well. It is a big surprise to me that there are a couple more than just third party restaurants opening like we see over in Disney Springs. Disney Springs actually said they are only allowing third party venues to open up. But at Universal Orlando Resort, I guess that doesn't matter, which is a big thing because, you know, at least you could get some taste of Universal walking into the Universal Studios store and enjoying the small bit of theming that's in there. You know, you can get a little bit since you can't get into the actual theme park right now. Each restaurant will have a limited menu and limited seating available. Also, Blue Man Group, All Night Clubs, and Universal Cinemark will remain temporarily closed at this time. And that's right, these restaurants will have a limited menu as well as social distancing markers throughout the restaurant or that specific venue to make sure that you're still keeping in 
in line with the guidelines of the CDC to practice social distancing and prevent the spread of COVID-19. Now, if you want to speed up the process and not have to wait in line and not have to deal with the hassle of going through the social distancing measures and stuff like that, then there's mobile ordering available for both the Red Oven Pizza Bakery location and Voodoo Donut. That's right, you can mobile order a donut from Voodoo Donut. So if you wanna go in there and get your freaking Fruit Loops donut, you just go on your Universal Studios app, order that real quick, go in there, pick it up, not have to wait in the line, not have to deal with the social distancing markers. I mean, you'll still have to follow the guidelines in there, but what I'm saying is you don't have to wait in line and jump into each marker or stand beside each marker and have to deal with the hassle of that. You can go in, mobile order, get out. Maybe even you just want to go to City Walk Orlando just for that sole reason. You can just go right in, get your voodoo donut, and head back home to your little self-quarantine thing going on, which I think is a great thing that they're offering mobile ordering. I know mobile ordering has been around a little while at least at universal orlando resort i don't know why we don't have it at hollywood it's kind of odd but who knows la is not going to be operating at this time however self-parking is complimentary so you don't have to pay 25 bucks or 27 bucks or whatever it is to park to have a good time at city walk it's complimentary this time which is a really good thing i would think why would universal want to charge to experience like a couple of venues that are open that'd be kind of wrong with them especially with a tons of americans being in a financial crisis right now due to their jobs furloughing them or laying them off i would think that city walk would make the right move and offer complimentary parking instead of charging for parking so that's a big move on universal orlando's part now an important information for your visit in accordance with cdc guidelines we have enhanced sanitation procedures and implemented additional measures for distance spacing and screening therefore we ask all guests and team members that they comply with following face covering required wash hands often floor markings when present please stand on the floor markings until the group in front of you moves forward temperature check required temperature checks will be required upon arrival and guests with a temperature of 100.4 degrees or greater will not be admitted into city walk Social distancing, practice social distancing and keep at least six feet between travel party and others. And last but not least, avoid contact with people who are sick. So all the basic stuff that we see uh, that they're implementing in other attractions in the area as well. All team members, all guests will have to wear a face mask and get their temperature check. Now I know you, a lot of you guys are wondering how the temperature checks are going to work, but from this icon right here, it looks like it's just going to be a thermometer that they hold right up to your head in the parking garage location before you actually get onto City Walk property. And like they say, if you have 100.4 or higher, then you will not be admitted into City Walk. Now a lot of people thought that it was going to be the one that Disney is implementing, but I guess they have different styles of how to do it. I'm really curious to see if they still use the thermometer technique when they actually open up the two theme parks or they they just go with the Disney motive and they kind of build that where you, it's a facial recognition thing where you can see the actual person's temperature walking through and you can actually see like multiple people at once instead of having to wait for each person to come up and scan them on their forehead. Please note the CDC advises that other adults and people of any age who have serious underlying medical conditions might be at higher risk for several illness, for severe illness from COVID-19. Guests should evaluate their risk in determining whether to attend. People who show no symptoms can spread COVID-19 if they are infected. Any interaction with the general public poses an evaluated and elevated risk of being exposed to COVID-19, and we cannot guarantee that you will not be exposed during your visit. Basically, what Universal Orlando is saying right here is, hey, you go at your own risk because someone could still have COVID that's at City Walk Orlando and you may not know and you could be exposed to it yourself but they're also asking that people who have the symptoms of COVID and have or like an old age over 65 don't go out to City Walk Orlando and they evaluate themselves at their own risk before actually driving to the property but I mean that's about it as far as the guidelines go as far as everything that you need to know about City Walk Orlando opening there may be a vlog out tomorrow of opening day of city walk i don't know i gotta talk with Losh. it just depends on his work schedule and everything but he may be out there filming a vlog for you guys to enjoy on this channel to you know check out the opening day of city walk but no promises like i've said before on my social media we'll just have to wait and see how how things pan out me and Losh are going to be working together to kind of form this more 
mutual not channel but help each other's channels out so for example when hollywood starts back up and, and california starts back up i'll film some stuff for him that he can upload on his channel kind of like representing his channel and then he'll film some stuff for me over in orlando to represent my channel and put on my channel kind of help each other vice versa you know we got horror nights unscripted going so we got to help each other out let me know down in the comment section what you think of the guidelines for universal orlando's city walk will you be out there tomorrow or are you gonna wait a week or so just let me know down in the comment section we'd love to hear your feedback and as always subscribe with those bell notifications on guys thank you for watching this video all the support means truly a lot you guys mean the world to me every single person who views this video every single person who likes the videos every single person who just views the channel you guys mean the world to me i'm out everybody my name is scott you've been watching socal exploring positivity is key and most importantly remember to keep exploring peace out everybody